Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers at Tigers Stadium. On the mound for the Indians is Mike Paxton, whose record is 6-3 with a 5.10 ERA. And pitching today for the Tigers is Dave Rosma, whose record is 7-3 with a 3.32 ERA. And so yesterday, maybe the best game of the year from any Tiger starter, Jack Morris, uh, threw a four-hit shutout. We win four to nothing. Uh, Greg Brock, our uh, our new first baseman, taking over for Jason Thompson uh, in the trade that we had the day before. He had a two-run home run in his uh, for his first hit as a Detroit Tiger. So a pretty great start for his career. And, uh, you know, we did close the gap <laughs> to one, to eight and a half games back. We closed it by one um, as Baltimore's lost two in a row. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not over, but, you know, we're, we are playing for next year. And so uh, we're mixing the lineups up a little bit. We'll take a look here as we get the game started. Thanks for um, stopping by, everybody. Uh, like and or subscribe if you enjoy this content. Let's take a look at the lineup. Um, as, uh, of course, none of the bullpen uh, personnel pitched yesterday, so they're all available today. And, of course, Rosma is our starter today. We have Ricky Henderson back in there after getting the day off, as well as uh, Trammell, who uh, needed the rest. Greg Brock, we're going to keep him in the number two spot. We're going to give uh, Gary Hancock the day off today and move Jeffrey Leonard into right field. Uh, also moving uh, Reggie into the cleanup role as our DH. Mickey Hatcher will get a spot start, giving Brookins a day off at third. Okay, let's do the Indians lineup rundown, and then we'll take a look at Dave Rosma. Batting leadoff and playing second base is Kevin Romberg. Batting second in center field is Rick Manning. Batting third at first base is Carl Pagel. Batting cleanup in right field is Dan Pasqua. Batting fifth and in and catching today is Bo Diaz. Batting sixth in left field is Joe Charbonneau. Batting seventh at DHing is Vaughn Hayes. Batting eighth at third base is Dave Rosello. And batting ninth at shortstop is Tom Verizer. Dave Rosma, our best starting pitcher so far this year. Um, I think he had a rough outing his last time out. We'll take a look at that. He's making his 17th start. He's 7-3, 332 ERA. Opponents are batting 239. He's got uh, two complete games. He did throw a shutout, which was a minor miracle. Whoops, uh, there we go, game log. And yeah, he had a rough outing in his last start against the A's, giving up 10 hits, 5 runs, uh, only 2 were earned. He was on a 3-game winning streak. Well, I guess technically he still is on a 3-game winning streak, uh, despite the nose decision. So maybe we could turn it around with uh, Rosma and make up another game today. There is the uh, defensive alignment for the Indians today. Uh, the only difference is uh, Bo Diaz catching. And, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I said the Indians. Obviously, I meant the Tigers. And there are a couple differences with uh, with Hatcher uh, playing third today. So, anyway, Kevin Romberg batting leadoff against Dave Rosma. And there's an infield single for Romberg. Romberg uh, leading the team in stolen bases with a uh, 27. He did get caught stealing yesterday by Parrish. So we'll see if he's got the guts to go again today. Here's Rick Manning. And he tries again, and Parrish guns him down. All right, so one down and an 0-1 count to Rick Manning. Rosie gets Manning to pop it up on the infield. Whitaker makes the play for the second out. Two down, here's Carl Pagel, four for 21 against Rosma, and he strikes out swinging. 
We go to the bottom of the first. Here is the lineup for Detroit today. Batting leadoff and playing center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second at first base is Greg Brock. Batting third at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup and DHing is Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth in the right field is Jeffrey Leonard. Batting sixth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting seventh and catching today is Lance Parrish. Batting eighth at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. And batting ninth at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Here's Mike Paxton. If I remember correctly, he pitched uh, pretty well against us last time. Oh, he's twice so far, in fact. And uh, he got the win the first time out and a no decision in his second start. We did uh, tack on six runs against him. But in his first start, uh, he got the win, and wow, he gave up 12 hits. So I wonder who started against him that day. We must have uh, got lit up by the Indians. Let's take a look at his overall numbers. Making his 11th start, 6-3, 5-10 ERA, 25 Ks and 65 innings pitch. So he's not a strikeout pitcher. Opponents are batting 279. He does have two complete games. All right, now there's the uh, defensive alignment for the Indians today. And we've got Ricky, after having a day off, leading off the game against Paxton. And he walks. So he rested his eyes. Better eyesight today as he walks the first time up. And uh, let's get Ricky into scoring position here against Bo Diaz. What is his arm? Let's take a look. Oh, man, he's got a gun. That's all right. We're going to give him a chance. It's Ricky Henderson. What's the worst that could happen? That. As he's thrown out. Stealing second base. One down for Greg Brock. Brock pops it up on the infield. And uh, it's caught by the first baseman, Pagel. There's one down. I'm sorry, two down. It's going to bring up Trammell. Trammell was uh, tired for like four or five games in a row. So, uh, and he gave up a couple errors. So he was due for a day off. We gave that to him yesterday and he grounds out to short for the third out. So we go to the top of the second, no score. Here's Dan Pasqua to lead off against Rosma. 0 for 3 in his career, batting 100 this season. Here he grounds out to Trammell. There's one down. It's going to bring up Bo Diaz. Diaz ground ball. Snared by the first baseman, Greg Brock. There's the second out. It's going to bring up Super Joe Charbonneau. Ground ball to Hatcher at third. And Hatcher makes the play. One, two, three inning for Rosie. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here is Reggie Jackson. Giving him a chance to bat in the cleanup spot today. Flying out to center field. Manning makes the catch. One down. It's going to bring up Jeffrey Leonard. Leonard had two hits yesterday. Here he grounds it to first. Pegel makes the play for the second out. It's going to leave it up to Gibby. Gibby ground ball at the middle. And it's going to be stabbed at by the second baseman Romberg for the third out. So we go to the top of the third. No score. Von Hayes will lead off. 4 for 10 against Rosma. And he strikes out swinging. 2Ks for Rosie. Next up is Dave Rosello. Slices it to right field. And Leonard makes the catch. 2 down. It's going to bring up former Tiger Tom Verizer. He had a couple base hits yesterday. Hits a ground ball to Trammell. Trammell tosses him out. This game is moving along. Bottom of the third. Here's big wheel Lance Parrish. Batting 244 overall. And he flies out to center field. One down. Next up is Sweet Lou. Lou, there we go. Base hit to left. 
Tigers first base hit for today. And uh, no, we're not going to risk a double. But we do have Ricky Hatcher up. A uh, Mickey Hatcher, I should say, who um, has not offered much. But he's got a good skill set. Let's hit and run with that, uh, with uh, Hatcher. See if we can't get everybody moving along. Ground ball to third. Moving Whitaker to second base as Rosello makes the play. So two down. Whitaker in scoring position for Ricky Henderson. And Henderson takes a strike three looking. Go to the top of the fourth. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Kevin Romberg. Had an infield single and then thrown out stealing. And he's got himself another hit. Batting average up to 314. Let's see if he plays it safe this time. With Rick Manning up. Nope. Oh, uh, well, what happened there? Nobody. That must have been a run and a hit. I don't know. Because Romberg decided to hold. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm watching the game just like you as Manning stri strikes out. I guess I expected Romberg to be going. I did not uh, think that Rosma would get his third strike out here, and we're not even through four. So one down, Romberg at first for Carl Pagel. There we go. It's only a matter of time before Romberg steals second base, his 28th on the season. So runner on second for Carl Pagel, and Rosie leaves one up in the uh, strike zone. As Pagel gets a base hit to right, run scores, and it's one to nothing. Cleveland. And a, a pass ball by Parrish moves Pagel to second base. So now Pagel on second for Pasquale. He's got a 1-0 count. He hits a high fly ball to center field. Caught right before the warning track. Deep enough to move Pagel to third. So two down for Bo Diaz. Ground ball to third. Hatcher makes the play. So the Indians get on the board on the base hit and stolen base by Romberg. And we go to the bottom half of the fourth. Greg Brock leading off against Mike Paxton. And Brock shoots it into right center field gap. And he has himself his first career double. So Brock is on second for Trammell. Trammell two for ten and two walks against Mike Paxton. He goes the opposite way for a base hit and Brock scores. So the Tigers come back and tie it up. It's one all on the RBI single from Trammell. It's going to bring up Reggie. Reggie's going to bloop it into right center field. Falls in for a base hit. Trammell scoots into third base. First and third, still nobody out. It's time to get the hit and run going here. Try to stay out of the double play. Ground ball up the middle. Snared by the shortstop. A run will score as Jackson is safe at second. And it's 2 nothing Detroit. So Leonard coming through with an RBI. Next up is Gibby. Flying out to center field. And then Reggie was doubled off second base. What the hell, Reggie? Gibby now uh, has a batting average under 300 as well, so he's slumping. We go to the top of the fifth. It's 2-1 Detroit. Joe Charbonneau leading off the inning. Weak ground ball to Trammell. Trammell tosses him out. One down. It's going to bring up Von Hayes. Von Hayes repeats the action. Ground ball to Trammell. And Trammell commits another error. Wow. Trammell defensively has been horrible. Uh, we're going to bring in the third baseman, Hatcher, in case Rosella tries to bunt Hayes into uh, scoring position. Ground ball to short. Can we turn two? Yes, there we go. Good job by the defense there. Trammell follows his error up with a um, 
double play. 16 errors in 72 games for Trammell. And yet, still um, defensively positive in, uh, in war. Okay, so we go to the bottom of the fifth. Tigers are still up 2-1. to one. Lance Parrish leads off against Paxton. Paxton drills him right in the kneecap. So Lance is on first for Sweet Lou. Let Lou swing away. There we go. Base hit to left field. It gets all the way to the wall. He's got himself a double. Parrish has to hold it third. It's first, I'm sorry, second and third with nobody out. And Mickey Hatcher up to the plate. Opportunity for him as a pass ball by Bo Diaz scores the third run for Detroit. Still nobody out. Whitaker on third for Hatcher. Ground ball to third. Whitaker's got a hold. There's one down. That could not have gone any worse. Hatcher is horrible, horrible third baseman for us. Let's see if we can't get Henderson to produce a sack fly. And looks like he's going to come through as Whitaker tags and scores. So an RBI for Ricky. Two down. It's 4 nothing now as Whitaker scored on that. It's going to bring up Greg Brock and another base hit for Brock. He's 3 for 6 on the season. Got a couple extra base hits. Looking pretty good so far. Runner on first is Trammell. Trammell hits a ground ball to first, and there's a third out. So we're going to the top of the sixth. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Romberg, two for two in that stolen base. Whitaker, two for two. Brock, two for three. Still too early to call, as far as player of the game goes. Tom Verizer, leading off the top of the sixth. Rosemo's at 52 pitches. Tommy hits a ground ball to second. There's one out. Next up is Kevin Romberg. Finally, Rosie's going to get Romberg to ground out to Whitaker. And with two down, Rick Manning steps in. And he strikes out swinging. Pretty solid game for Rosemo. I think that's his fourth strikeout. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Here's Reggie Jackson leading off against Paxton. Reggie hits a ground ball to first. There's one down. We're going to need Reggie to pick up the slack with uh, Thompson gone. As far as home runs go. Oh, wow. Leonard strikes out. Only the second K for Paxton. It's going to leave it up to Gibby. Gibby strikes out swinging. We go to the top of the seventh. Four to one Detroit. Carl Pagel leading off. We got three, four, and five due up. Pagel hits a sharp line drive right at Brock. Brock makes the play. One down. Next up is Danny Pasqua. Pasqua hits a grounder to second. Whitaker makes the play. Two down. It's going to leave it up to Bo. Bo knows pop-ups as it carries to the outfield grass and Whitaker makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Lance Parrish leading off. Hits a sharp liner to first. There's one down. Sweet Lou up next. Lou's got a couple base hits as he Lines it to left for the second out. Two for three on the day. It's going to bring up Mickey Hatcher. Hey, there we go. Ropes it down the right field line for a double. Seventh Tiger hit today. Hatcher needed that as much as anybody on this team. And then Henderson's going to bloop it into left center field. Falls in for a hit. Hatcher running on the play scores. And it is five to one. Second RBI for Ricky. Nicely done by Henderson. And Greg Brock comes up and he crushes it. Is it gone? Oh, it's going to be caught right at the wall. 
by Manning, 432 feet. He got all of it, just uh, couldn't get it to the uh, deepest part of center field. We go to the eighth. Five to one Detroit, Rosema only at 73 pitches. As Joe Charbonneau lines out to Gibby, one down. Von Hayes up next, ground ball to third. That's the second out. Two down for Dave Rosello, and Rosello strikes out five Ks for Rosema. And uh, we're going to the bottom of the eighth. Indians only have seven hits in the last two games. That's crazy. Trammell leading off the bottom of the eighth. Flies out to center. Paxton now over 100 pitches. One down for Reginald. Reginald, ground ball to short. Second out. And now Paxton is listed as tired. Jeffrey Leonard with a sleepy Paxton. Base hit for Jay Leo. Do we want to go for two? You know, we're up four runs. Yeah. Oh, Leonard is out. As a Super Joe guns him down at second base. We had a 50-50 shot. And we chose poorly. We go to the top of the ninth. Uh, Rosma at 80 pitches. We have 9-1-2 and two due up. Righty, righty, lefty. Tom Verizer starts us off by striking out. Six Ks for Rosma. One down. Kevin Romberg's up next, and he walks him. Okay, all right. We got a four-run lead. But we do have three lefties due up. Starting with Rick Manning. Oh, no. Rosma walks uh, Manning. So first and second, and 96 pitches now. Rosma is tired, and we do have two lefties, so I think we're going to pull him. That was a pretty decent at bat there for Manning. And we're going to bring in Pat Underwood, our lefty specialist, our loogie, although we're going to hope he gets more than one out here with Carl Pagel leading out. Let's take a look at um, Underwood, by the way. Um, let's see. So 33 games, 4-4, four and four, 327 ERA, 214 opponents batting average. He's got three saves and seven opportunities, but lefty's only batting 175, so. All right, here we go. Carl Pagel, 0 for 7 against Underwood. He's due. Underwood gets him to pop up on a very low pitch. Caught by Trammell. Look at that. He's golfing. So two down. Final out here, possibly with Dan Pasquale batting 042 versus lefties. And there's his first hit. Danny Pasqua, now one for four, gets the RBI. And uh, we're one long ball away from tying this game up. Um, all right, so we're going to take out Underwood. We're going to bring in Tom Hume to get the save. Runners on first and third for Bo Diaz. Diaz betting 222 versus righties. Ground ball right to Whitaker. And there we go. That's the final out of the game. Handshakes all around. Slaps on the back. Tigers win 5-2. to two. Another decent win as we go to 17-10 and 10 in the month of June. Maybe too little too late. As we are down to seven and a half games. Wow. Uh, we really do have a chance. I mean, we still have another whole month of baseball. Uh, Cleveland now is at 10 games in a, in a row. They've lost. Uh, not so good for the Tribe. Let's take a look at the transactions. A, oh, a big trade. Look at this. The uh, White Sox putting up the white flag are trading their uh, everyday catcher, Marv Foley, to the Padres for George Hinshaw and Brad Kamintz. Let's take a look at these guys. Marv Foley, Marvelous Marvis Foley, one of their better hitters. Um, he walks a lot. 
I guess, comparatively. Um, but uh, I guess nothing major there. And then in return, uh, George Hinshaw, he's in double A for the Birmingham Barons, third baseman, and Brad Kamisk is in single A. Uh, solid potential right fielder for the White Sox. Cubbies lose a pitcher for two weeks, and Greg Minton, maybe the worst baseball card of all time, their 1978 tops. He's going to be out for a week with a uh, fractured arm or whatever that was. What was it? Fractured forearm stress fracture. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe if you enjoy this content. Sure, it's a lot more fun when we're winning. Uh, we have the Brewers coming to town. And uh, then we have one more series after that. Then it's the All-Star Game in which I'll be playing live. Uh, I'll be the American League. Dave, uh, who won the contest on the Baseball Mogul of, of Facebook page, uh, will be the National League team. And uh, we're still working out the semantics on that, but we'll let you know when that game is going to be uh, airing on YouTube. Player of the game. This is a tough one. Kind of deserves to be uh, Dave Rosema. Uh, Ricky had two RBIs, but we're going to give it to Rosie. As he goes to 8-3, and three, team high eight wins. Hume gets his third save. Mike Paxton, really kind of a hard luck loser. He pitched pretty well, really, as uh, he goes to 6-4. and four. Three doubles for the Tigers, including Greg Brock's first uh, double as a Tiger. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll come back tomorrow, play the next game against the Brew Crew. Until then, everyone, have a great night.